Is the Blue Vivo XL5 a good phone to buy? Well, in this video, we're going to find out. Hi everyone, this is Kevin here, coming at you with my Blue Vivo XL5 review. Now this phone is the successor to the Blue Vivo XL4, which I did videos about in late 2018. So it is exciting that we finally have a successor to that device. Now the retail price for this phone is $129.99 and you can buy it over at Amazon. Now definitely take a look at the link in the video description though to see the most up-to-date pricing for the phone because it's definitely possible that that's changed since the time that I made this video. Now this device is GSM unlocked which means that in the US it'll work with any GSM carrier including AT&T, T-Mobile, Metro by T-Mobile, and Cricket. It'll also work on smaller GSM carriers like Mint Mobile and Straight Talk. Now this device features a 6.3 inch display coming in at 720p with a 274 ppi and a 19 by 9 aspect ratio. So a very large display here on the phone. We do have a teardrop notch on the top and in that notch is a 13 megapixel front facing camera. But as far as everything goes with the display, it's not the brightest display ever, but it does get the job done. And the 720p resolution certainly isn't too bad. I mean, there's definitely room for improvement with the display, but I feel like at this price point, it is more than enough. Now this device features 64 gigabytes of internal storage with SD card expansion. So 64 gigs at $129.99 is a really good deal. Now the device does not feature wireless charging, but we do have a fingerprint sensor on the back that does work really well. So we'll try that out right now, and as you can see, that was pretty quick and accurate. Now also on the back side of the phone are the cameras. Now the phone features dual 13 megapixel cameras, with the secondary camera being used for portrait mode. So we do get portrait mode on this phone for both the front and rear cameras, and later on in this video, you'll see some test photo and video samples. Now the phone features 3 gigabytes of RAM and runs the Unisoc S39863A processor. So if you're not aware, Unisoc is kind of a newer company that creates budget processors. Now based on my experience of using the phone, the processor gives you pretty decent performance. Of course it's nothing like a flagship phone like the Galaxy S10, but still it works decently well. And here are the Antutu benchmark scores, so I did do a benchmark test. So we get a score of 74396 and a CPU score of 33630. So what I'd recommend doing is on your current phone, run the Antutu benchmark score and see what your scores are and compare those scores to these scores on the Blue Vivo XL5 to see if these scores are an improvement. Now if the scores are not an improvement, then upgrading to this phone likely won't be much of an upgrade at all. But if these scores are much better than what you currently have, then there's definitely a good chance that this phone will be indeed faster than what you currently have. Now the phone records video at 1080p at 30 frames per second, so that's not bad at all for a budget phone. The device features a beefy 4000 mAh internal battery, and it runs a near stock version of Android 9 Pie. Now it does come with some bloatware such as Opera, there's a news app, there are shortcuts to Amazon, Weather, Blue News, Facebook, Bing, and Yahoo. But what's nice is that you can actually remove all of this bloatware very easily by uninstalling it. So not really a big issue there. Now on the left side of the phone, we have the slot for the micro SD card and SIM card. This phone is dual SIM compatible, but if you do add two SIMs to it, you cannot use the micro SD card slot. Then on the right side, we have the power button and we have the volume button. Then on the top, we just have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Then on the bottom of the phone, we have the microphone, we have the micro USB port for charging and data transfer, so it does not have USB-C unfortunately, and we have the speaker. Then on the back of the phone, we have this pretty cool kind of fake leather design with fake stitching as well, but I actually like the design. But we have the camera module, the flash, we have the fingerprint sensor, and we have the blue logo. So the build quality of the device is definitely not bad at all, it feels very solid, it doesn't necessarily have the most exciting design ever, especially with a pretty decently large sized chin here at the bottom, but I do like that we at least get a teardrop notch at the top. Now Blue launched the Blue Vivo XL5 alongside with the Blue Vivo X5, which is a lower end version of this device, 
And I do have a video on my channel comparing the XL5 to the X5, so definitely check that out. Now I wouldn't call this phone a gaming powerhouse by any means, but it does do a decent job at playing lower end games, whether it's Temple Run or Candy Crush, or really anything like that. Now you can play higher end games like PUBG Mobile on here, but you will experience some lag, so it's not really the best experience ever. So if you're really into watching video content, this device certainly is not bad for that. So YouTube videos play very smoothly with no issues at all. You are limited to 720p of course because the actual display on the phone is 720p. Another nice thing though is that the speakers on the phone do get decently loud. So if you are watching a video in bed or maybe you're on the couch just kind of relaxing after a long day of work, this phone will definitely get the job done. Of course, it's not as loud as the speaker that you'd find with a flagship phone like the iPhone 11 or the Galaxy S10. So maybe if you're like really into playing music while you're taking a shower, th this phone might not be the best for that unless you have a quiet shower or you don't mind the phone just being a little bit on the quieter side. But for a phone in this price range, the speakers definitely get the job done. I think what I like most about the speaker quality is that the sound is not tinny by any means. So everything sounds nice and good. I just know that I've used some phones in the past where I think my old calculator has a better speaker than those phones, if that makes sense. <laughs> now this is a very good phone for browsing the web and going on social media and doing anything like that. And the main reason for that is because the device does feature a very skinny but tall 19 by nine aspect ratio. So it's not necessarily skinny in like a bad way, but what's nice though is that you can reach all the way over, at least most people can, on this phone, but at the same time, you get some nice height here so that you can fit extra content into the display. So it is very well optimized for that kind of usage and zooming is nice and smooth. So it's a good phone overall for web browsing. Of course, you can do better. If you want to get a flagship, you'll get a better experience, but you will also be spending like five times or 10 times the amount of money. Now something that really did stand out with me for the Blue Vivo XL5 is the photo and video quality, especially the photo quality. So for a phone in this price range, I am very impressed with the photos I was able to take. Everything is super crisp and clear. Maybe the colors could have been a little bit better, but really, I mean, for a phone in this price range, it really goes above and beyond, to be honest. It takes really nice looking photos and I took photos in both the regular mode because I'm not much of a photographer so I don't really like to customize the different modes and settings but I took photos in the regular mode. I also took photos in HDR. I didn't really notice too much of a difference between the regular shooting mode and HDR but it's fine because the final results I got in either of the two modes was really good. So I think you'll be very happy with the cameras on this device. I know that's a very important feature for many of you. And really, I mean, I think there's no reason to be concerned at all about the photo and video quality from the phone. Let's now hop over to some video samples from the device. Hi everyone, this is Kevin here, coming at you with a test video from the Blue Vivo XL5. So let me know what you think of the quality from the phone. There is autofocus in video mode, but it is a little bit slow, but it is there. But let me know what you think of the quality. Hi everyone, this is Kevin here with a front facing test video from the Blue Vivo XL5. Let me know what you think of the quality from this video. It is pretty bright out today, and I am in the shade right now. So I'll go out in the sunlight, and you can see it's even brighter. So let me know what you think of the quality. So I'm really interested to know your thoughts about the Blue Vivo XL5. I'm personally a big fan of it. I feel like it is definitely an improvement over the Blue Vivo XL4. I wish I still had that phone so that I could do a comparison between the two. But what's nice about this phone versus the Blue Vivo XL4 is that it does have a teardrop notch instead of a wider notch. Now maybe one downside from what I can remember comparing this to that device is that the XL4 had a better looking display. 
but this display definitely is good enough and does get the job done. This phone also has much better cameras than the XL4, so that in itself is definitely worth it for me. I know that for me personally, I have to have a device that has at least decent cameras on it. I can't be dealing with bad looking photos, especially because why would I want bad looking photos? I mean, there's nothing worse than going on a vacation and taking photos and having them look terrible. Now, one other thing before I end the video is I want to show you what all is included in the box. So here is the box for the Vivo XL5. It's kind of not like other boxes from Blue that I've seen in the past just because typically they have some cool artwork on the front, but whatever, I can survive with this, not really a big deal. Here are some of the specifications on the back side of the box, but I've already gone over all of those here in the video. So we'll open this up, I'll dump out everything that's in here so you can see what all is included. So we get a tempered glass screen protector and a cleaning cloth. So very nice to see that that does come with the phone. So that's one less thing you have to buy. We have a blue logo here, so I'll add that to my collection. We have some literature, not really an accessory, <laughs> but we do have a quick start guide here that I'll never really read because I don't need to. We have the micro USB cable for charging and data transfer. So not bad, a pretty thick cable there in a good way. I do wish this had USB-C, but we can't get everything for $129.99. We have the wall adapter here, which is just a standard wall adapter, no fast charging that I'm aware of. We have the headphones, so the headphones have a microphone built in. We also have a button here to accept and end calls and to play and pause music. So that's pretty nice. It is, of course, a 3.5 millimeter headphone there. We get a clear TPU case. Always nice that that's included. Nothing really special about the case. It is pretty basic and simple, that's for sure. We also have a plastic screen protector. Not really sure why they have this when they give us a free tempered glass screen protector, but I have no problem with some extra bonuses being included. And we have the SIM card removal tool, but you could also just use a paper clip if you wish. Now I've been using this phone with Cricut Wireless and it has been working very well for me. So if you are a Cricut user, just know that it's literally a plug and play kind of thing. You just put your SIM card in and you don't have to adjust any settings or anything. So no need to mess around with the APN settings or any of that. So just know that you're good to go if you are a Cricut user. But I'm very happy with the phone. I like how we get so many different accessories included for free. So many less things that I need to go out and buy because typically you'd be spending like five bucks for a screen protector, probably on the, <laughs> probably more than that actually. And then you might be spending like another like uh, 10 bucks on a case but that is all included in the box with the Blue Vivo XL5. But let me know what you think of the Blue Vivo XL5. I'm personally a big fan of it. I think it's a nice phone. It does get the job done, and especially for $129.99, it is certainly competitive. I think probably my favorite feature with this device is the camera quality because it's pretty much class leading. I mean, I can't think of another phone for $129.99 that has photo quality at the level of this one. But let me know what you think. And if you plan on buying this, and definitely take a look at the link in the video description to check it out on Amazon. But this is Kevin here, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.